Hello there, welcome back and today as you can see we have more fog so I am back out in the fog again and there's a shot of these little trees that I was looking at the other day from literally here just looking down them you can get them on a lovely diagonal line so I'm going to set up and I'm going to take that as my first shot but what I'm going to give you is five tips on how to improve your foggy photos um, they're quite easy to do and they will help boost your fog photos so yep join me in a minute let me get set up and I'll talk you through the first shot so first shot is I'm going to try and line these up they're going to be a clump into the middle of the frame um, you can zoom in and get them to fill the frame up at the bottom but I do quite like it like this as just a clump I'm not a fan of the bench and I wish that wasn't there I may clone this out in Photoshop I may leave it in I probably will just leave it in it is part of the scene um, but I love the colours and the texture in these little trees here they look fantastic let me show you the back of the camera quickly and I'll talk you through the shot looks beautiful it does absolutely beautiful so what I'm doing with this shot is just lining up just this one just the root just in the bottom right hand rule of thirds and that end one is just over into the left hand rule of thirds it's really balanced apart from the bench I really wish that wasn't there but it is what it is and the first tip I'm going to tell you with this is to improve your foggy photographs one little trick you can do is overexpose slightly you will have a bright image but you'll also brighten up the fog and I will focus there on that second limb at f11 and I'll take this shot as you can see it has brightened up the fog the second tip you can do is you can underexpose slightly you'll get a much moodier feel with the trees the fog won't quite be as as, as as thick but it's still a beautiful image I'm just going to wait for this fella to come out the shot and then I will take it it's a pretty little scene this and I do love it over here Betsy come here morning, morning. morning. you're right go on get Betsy's tail out the shot come here Betsy so again I'll take this just a third of a stop under exposed I may even try two thirds I'll take the shot I'll take the shot just to see and there you have it so first two tips you can either under expose or you can over expose the first tip really should be when you see fog on foggy's forecast get out of bed get up get out and get in the fog it's absolutely amazing it is so that's cool first tip get out in the fog and these next two are they underexposed or overexposed and you will you can either increase the the fog there you will have a bright image which you can darken the subjects down or if you want to add mood into the photograph underexpose where it is dark down here you can pull that back in Photoshop with a shadow slider I'll give you another two tips of the next photograph I'll put this on for you right now to have a look at drop me a comment let me know if you like it The next shot I'm looking at the fog now is lifting really really fast so I think I'm going to be done shortly but I'm loving this scene 
and we've got this little bit of green moss on this first little tree just here green moss in the roots and the base of these two trees and I'm thinking line them up on a diagonal line as well coming from the bottom right to look through the scene and follow your eyes then each way around that end tree down the path in the distance it does look quite a nice little shot and to be honest I have got grey behind this to tell the fog there's a bit of grey there and when we look this way there is nothing at all it's just lifting so let me just show you the back of this camera first and I'll talk you through this shot and let's try and get it looks a lovely scene do love it let me show you the back of the camera so for this shot I am going to start off in the bottom right hand corner and lead along just to show the path running off to the left there and you can cut through the middle there because there is another path coming down this way it does look quite a pretty little scene it does look a little bit empty on this side I can't help myself I've got to, I just think I've got to just come around a touch I want to try and keep a little bit of orange down there in the image as well if I can I think I'm going to have to focus stack this there and there and then there but uh, I do like it I love the fog in the background the next two tips for this number four and number five uh, are regarding Photoshop or whatever software you use in that if you drop your contrast you can also go into your picture styles let me get it up and if you click the info button if you've got a Canon camera it says info detail set you can come down to contrast and you can drop the contrast right the way down in camera or you can do it in Photoshop Lightroom whatever you use tip number five is if you do use Photoshop or Lightroom the DA slider you can turn to the left and that will just boost the fog a little bit as well especially when it's just starting to fade but having said that it looks like it's rolling back in again it does look like it's getting foggier as we're speaking here so yeah good little tips for you these the first one make sure you get up and out of bed and get out in this fog it's always gone by mid morning so you do need to be up early number two you can either underexpose or number three overexpose and then four you can adjust your contrast if you take contrast out because what you've got to remember in fog everything is grey and you lose contrast so if you take a little bit more out you will just enhance that fog and you can make the image just look that a little bit nicer and then the DA slider works pretty much the same you can add a little bit of haze into the photograph as well especially if you underexpose a shot you can then recover the the bright areas with the DA's button well I'll take this shot now I'm going to uh, focus stack there there and there and I'll put this on for you right now again drop me a comment and let me know your thoughts on this image What did you think of that shot? Pretty cool. There's a beautiful oak tree just here, I'll show you. I don't think the fog's thick enough to get this one. But it does look absolutely amazing. Just look at that for the tree. Absolutely stunning. There's a lot of clutter in the in the foreground, so. I do think we need the fog to be a little bit thicker. It is lifting, it is lifting. 
Um, there's a little bit rolled back in again, but I can see the sun in the sky now. So I think pretty much maybe even just 10 minutes now and it could be gone. So this is the importance of watching the forecasts and when they do forecast fog, try to get up early and get out in it so that if it does lift quickly, you can get your shots done quick and you can get some absolutely stunning images. I do myself personally like that moody feel with the with the fog. Um, just have that little bit of atmosphere and that bit of mystery in it. Just darken the image down a bit, I think, for me. Um, that's why I do tend to underexpose the shots because that's what I like. I am looking around now, I think there's another shot here actually. Let me just have a little quick look at this. And if there is, I'll talk you through the camera. just been having a little walk around here I've moved forward a bit well I've moved back to where I've just come from and I'm loving this little tree the single tree with a little bit of orange in the bottom there looks like a little beech tree growing out the roots but I'm loving the path coming either side of it and leading up and you can see again the fog in the distance it has just rolled in because literally the last shot I've just took five ten minutes ago when you look back that way there was no fog at all so it is just rolling about I think it's lifting but it is rolling about so I want to quickly get this shot let me show it again the back of the camera and I'll talk you through the scene and the settings that I'm using for this it does look really nice I love fog just look at this it looks absolutely incredible it does absolutely incredible I love it I've also got to find Betsy she's legged it so, don't know where she is. But let me just show you the back of this camera and then I'll go and find Betsy. So, for this shot, again, it will be another focus stack, which is just on there and on these trees here. I may be able to get away with just focusing there. I will take the two shots just to make sure. But because this is more than, I think, infinity on this lens comes in at about three and a half meters and this is probably five meters away so we may just be okay to get the rest of it in focus um, a little tip also sometimes when you take a shot on the farthest thing can also bring this into focus so you may only need the one shot what I'm going to do though is take two um, just to ensure that I have got focus if I need it so the two shots will be there and there but I love the way the path comes in round there and also straight up with the fog in the distance it does look a pretty little scene and I love that little splash of orange right there looks fantastic settings for this so I'll get them up on the camera for you ISO 100 I am two-thirds of a stop underexposed at f11 the reason I'm using f11 is just to get depth of field um, I am hoping to get this in one shot rather than two. If I was to shoot f8, I would definitely need the two shots then. So I am going to try f11. And again, I'll put this on for you right now. And drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you do like it, please give me a big thumbs up. I hope these uh, 
five little tips of Elcher. Um, all you need now is <laughs> the next bit of fog. Uh, it does usually come between November and end of March you get fog. We haven't had much this year but uh, literally just two lots I think. I was out a few days back in the fog and again today last night when I looked at the forecast this wasn't forecast and I got up early and looked out the window and I saw it and I thought fog it I've got to get out so I am out in the fog I do absolutely love it look at this look at this rock up here you just turn you around I love that big rock I'm now beginning to think I wish I'd have bought a 70 to 200 with me as well we could have got there with that beautiful grey sky behind and the grey in the trees it would look quite nice there but it is as you can see it is lifting so we are done I think Betsy has gone again I'm just looking around for her ah there she is bless her she has been quite well behaved again today so I'll just get an older think please check out the uh, links below in the description there's links to all the gears I use and social media at the bottom of the description there are links to all the social media sites that I use Facebook Instagram TikTok they're all there please feel free to um, add me on there and I would gladly accept your friends request I do post on social media every now and then where I'm going so if I do go anywhere nice or close to you and you fancy meeting up for some photos just drop me a message and we can meet up little dog little doggy um, yeah please subscribe we can do it all again next week and if you hit the little notification bell you'll get notified when I put the next video on until then I hope, you've, I hope you've enjoyed this video and take it easy, have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.